Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabati fillah in a beautiful narration of our salaf is reported that Fudail ibn Iyad rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatin wasi'ah that he said If you can be unknown, then do so. It doesn't matter if you are not known, and it doesn't matter if you are not praised. It doesn't matter if you are blameworthy according to the people. If you are praiseworthy with Allah, the mighty and majestic. And this is also reported by Imam, collected by Imam al-Bayhaqi in his book, a zuhd a kabir ahabatifillah this narration of the salaf shows us of where our intent should be and that our concern should not be popularity and the pleasure of the people but it should be strictly the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that is a fantastic reminder of the madhab of the salaf. And the reason I say that that's the madhab of the salaf, because the salaf, if we follow up and look at their text, we'll find that they were consistently concerned about the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not the pleasure of the people. That they did acts and they wrote treatises and expounded on the importance of the intent, the importance of seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one's actions. And that is consistent with the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That it's all about be, doing that which is fi sabili rabbina. That it is for the pleasure of our Lord, that it isn't about the popularity, it isn't about people praising you, it isn't about people blaming you even, because people, you're never going to please the people, unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the pleasure of the people, and if you seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then perhaps Allah will give you the pleasure of the people. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and before that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says الكريم, And they weren't commanded talking about the nations, the Jews and the Christians from before us Ahl Kitab except to worship Allah alone with sincerity and for him it's a religion. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Verily actions are tied to the intentions. Again, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have an ikhlas lillah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many sins. Bless us with ikhlas, with habat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.